we'd like to welcome our 2023 Travelers Championship winner, Keegan Bradley. Congratulations, Keegan, on a great win. Obviously, a, a huge fan base out there that really enjoyed that finish. Um, with the victory, it's your sixth on tour. Um, number five in the FedEx Cup you moved to. A lot of great things that happen with a win, as you know. <laughs> um, but this one, particularly special for you, I would think. Uh, being from here and having your family here, just how meaningful is that? Yeah, I mean, it was the first uh, PGA Tour event I've ever been to. Back when I was a kid, I drove from Vermont to come here and watch David Duvall play. And, you know, it's, it's an event my first handful of years on tour I really struggled at because the, the, the pressure of wanting to play well for my family and for the local community was too much, and I had to learn how to do it. And uh, to to other than the majors and you know those those type of tournaments, this was always the top of my list. And um, what a special thing to be the the winner of this tournament. Um, before we take some questions, um, just raise your hand when you do have a question. We'll get your microphone. But before we take some, um, it was a. It was an amazing finish, really. You got out to a six-stroke lead with, like, I think, after 12, 13 holes, and then a couple of errors down the stretch. What, what was your mindset? What were you thinking? Was everything going a little fast, and how did you rectify that situation? Yeah, I was playing great. I didn't look at many leaderboards because I knew I sort of had control of the of the tournament, you know, whether if I just played my best, I knew I, with Chez, who was kind of right behind me, who was a little bit back, I knew that I sort of had control. and. Um, you know, this course is so fun to play because every hole is a birdie hole, but also on that backside, there's water everywhere. You can make a bogey in a second. And um, it, was a, it was a stressful finish, but, you know, once I got that ball on the green on 17, I kind of could take a little bit of a deep breath, but um, it got it moving a little quick. But it was, uh, you know, I kept, I did a great job of just, you know, trying to stay calm and ended up winning the tournament. Take some questions. We'll start on the way. Keegan, what's it like to – I think the Travelers had statistically the best field in golf this year. Um, so what's it like to be a part of that field, um, to be out there with, you know, a really uh, packed property and they're all cheering for you? Um, was that something that set in? and um, Was it kind of actually hard to compete with that to kind of keep your emotions at bay? Yeah, it is because you can't – for me, I'm always trying to keep my emotions down. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love the Ryder Cup is because you can let it out at all times. And you don't want to get too emotional on any shot, whether it be good or bad. And it's easy to get emotional on a really good shot out here because of the fans. And the, my biggest job was to st try to stay calm and not, you know, get too excited over, especially early in the round, because you know coming down the end it's going to be stressful. No matter how big of a lead you have, there's some tough tee shots that you have to hit. And I was able to do that. But at times when I was lacking a little bit, I'd look to the crowd. If I just look into the crowd, they cheer. And I tried to just take that energy that they were cheering at me. We'll go to Jake on this side and then Nick after you. Hi, Keegan. Uh, two questions, if I may. First, uh, how important was it after struggling at LACC to take that time that you had mentioned at home to kind of readjust to mentally and uh, prepare your game for this tournament yeah I I really played awful there and um, I called my coach Darren May and I, I I went home to Massachusetts and then I drove up here Monday and we had a great day Monday great day Tuesday and a great day Wednesday and that doesn't always necessarily mean you're going to play well but it seemed I seemed like I was in great shape and uh it it really it really clicked in and you know when it clicks in like that I've never played that's the only time I've ever played in my career that I could think of that I did everything the best I could. Quick follow-up, Jake. Follow-up. Um, you've played at this tournament multiple times before. It's New England's only tournament that's consistently on the calendar. Have you ever been prouder to be from this region of the country than you are now? No, I mean, one of my favorite things about myself is where I'm from. And I... The, the the bond that you have with people from New England is different than anywhere in the world that country I've ever been. And, you know, this is, I'm very proud. I've lived all over New England. I've lived in Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, Massachusetts, and, you know, I've, I'm very, very proud of where I come from, and I love every sports team in this area. So to hear the fans cheer for me like they would a sports team, it means a lot. We're going to go back over the side, Nick, and then Mark right behind you, okay? It, 
it was what was going to win or lose me the tournament. So I remember when I won the PGA, I made triple on 15, and then my tee shot on 16 was, you know, a regular tee shot. But, again, it was I always used to say that was the best shot I've ever hit and not one that anyone would remember. And that 17th hole is for sure up there because you have to take an aggressive line. And I did an interview with Chamblee, and he said it played as the second hardest hole in the course, or maybe the first. So 44 balls in the water today. So, uh, you know, that was um, what a great shot. One of the best shots I've ever hit in my life. Go hit Mark. Keegan. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey. Um, you won the PGA so quickly, your first major. It, it was probably before winning a major became a thing for you. I just kind of wonder – Without recency bias, where does this stand, even even on on the on the level with with a major championship? Because I know you addressed it yesterday a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the majors are the majors, and they hold such weight, and they hold history, and you know uh, where your legacy is in the game. But then you can measure other tournaments with what happened out here today, and how, enjoyment level, and I, winning before a family versus winning after a family doesn't even compare. Winning a tournament with your family is the greatest feeling because they put up with a lot of nonsense, I'd say, of me traveling, me missing first days of school or my wife being alone all the time, you know, when I'm on the road. And for them to be able to feel the excitement of this and be here and feel it, they can't put a price on that. It's just the greatest feeling. I'll go over here to Jim on the side and then up the back. Just curious, down the stretch, which of the shots, the drive at 13, the putt from the front of 14 green, which of those things kind of made it tightened a little bit and said, all right, get back, get back to what I got to do here? Well, the putt on 14 was in an old ball mark, and it was really, I don't know if they, anyone knew, it was halfway down, it was brutal. But uh, the, the, when I missed the birdie putt on 15, I had a great shot in there, and I, you know, I had that up and over, and I figured, you know, a three here is going to go a really long way. And that, when I made par there, I kind of was like, all right, this is this is definitely getting a little tight. And um, I had to refocus. I had a great shot on 16, and the wind was just stronger than we thought. And then, again, that tee shot in 17 is what really did it. Well, first things first, did you know that Vermont was part of Connecticut? Because it certainly felt like that. This week, did you feel that? I did. No. Yes, I did feel it. Yes, I did. Um, and then what does it mean to you when you look at the kids in the crowd, right, to be able to show them a New England golfer winning? Yeah, I mean, I said in my interview after the round, this is for all the kids like me that grew up in winters and can't play and would watch the kids from Florida and down south, you know, get better and compete and get invited to the biggest tournaments in the country that I was never invited to. And, you know, I hope that they know that they can come from this area. This, this was, this was for where I grew up, this is like the South down here, but um, they can come from this area and still make it in golf. You know, if you put your time in and work, you know, when you can and enjoy the game, you know, I hope they can see that they can do that. And um, do you have anything kind of, I don't know, gratitude maybe or a message for the fans that were cheering you on today? Yeah, I mean, really. I'm so I, – I can't even describe what that felt like. I dreamt my whole life of playing in Fenway Park, Gillette Stadium, and to feel pretty close to what that would feel like. Uh, you know, I had a bunch of people say they've never heard the 18th hole sound like that, and it, uh, it was just so fun to have a three-shot lead where I could, I could enjoy it and mess up a little bit and still win. I could, I could let my guard down a little bit. And, you know, I've never been able to do that in my six wins. So I'm so thankful for the fans, and I'm so honored to be their winner. Keegan, was it hard or easier to keep your emotions in check last night sleeping, this morning warming up? Was it, or was it harder than dealing with what you had to deal with on the back nine? Really hard. Yeah. I had two dreams last night that I woke up to of hitting a shot out of bounds or something, to like nightmares. I had a dream that Justin Thomas was shooting 10 under par. and like, so It was, it was bad. Like, I, I felt great yesterday. This morning I was, I was feeling it. I texted my wife. I got here, and I, I was feeling it. 
And I went out this morning, I played basketball with my son, thinking that would help, didn't really help. Uh, and then, you know, I was really nervous on the first hole. And then once I got to the third hole, I, I, just, I just felt really calm. And then, you know, later in the round, I definitely felt it too. But this was a real tough one these last couple of days. Keegan, you mentioned the Ryder Cup earlier and how much you enjoy it, given the, the play with the energy in the crowd. Um, obviously, this win kind of puts you squarely in the Ryder Cup mix. Uh, what do you have to do over the next couple of months to kind of secure your spot on the team? Yeah, I mean, it was the first thing I said to my wife walking up the up to sign my card was, it's a pretty big step towards doing that. And, you know, I'm 37 years old. I hope to play in multiple more, but I don't know how many more. With the, everybody's so good, you know, and the younger kids are, it's just the team is incredible. And, you know, I still got a lot to show the captain, and I would love to go to Rome and be a part of that team. Keegan, before we let you go, I know your phone's probably blowing up. Um, care to share any uh, text messages you might have got? For? I know you get a lot of support out here from the, from the guys out here. But yeah. Any, any others that you well, can share? Well, I got, um, of course, Michael Jordan texted me, and that means a lot to me. He's obviously my hero, but also one of my good friends. Timmy Wakefield, uh, Boston Red Sox. Uh, I'm trying to think. Baba Bowie from Howard Stern texted me. That was probably my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I, I I did a quick scan. I had a couple, two, three hundred texts, and I found saw that Aaron Rodgers. Uh, that meant a lot, even though he plays for the Jets now. Um, but I am I am. It's such a it's such a cool. When you get a text from an athlete, it hits different because they know what it goes into doing something like this, and it means a lot. Well, I'm sure you'll have time while you're celebrating this evening to maybe scroll through the rest. Yeah. Of the, and, you know, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you, guys. You're a great champion. Thank you.